What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Football Manager 2016 video and today it's episode 24 in my LFC Let's Play series and I do apologise it has been an awfully long time since the last episode but that is probably because FIFA's come out and I have been smashing FIFA like mad. If you've not seen any of the FIFA content go and check it out on the channel. There's a Liverpool career mode series that I have started but today we're going to recap from what happened last episode because it's been so long, what's happened since then and then uh, we're going to play two games in the Europa League against Celtic and we'll just talk about the future of this series because obviously FM17 is not long, you know, it's not long away now, it's just around the corner and I don't really want two series on my channel that are both Liverpool, so I'm going to try and get this series wrapped up as quick as uh, possible. Anyway, since the last episode, we played Tottenham, which obviously was in the last episode. Uh, we lost 4-0. We'll talk. Well, actually, we won't talk about that. We'll, we'll ignore that. Uh, then we played Newcastle at home in the Premier uh, League, and we got a 3-1 victory. I can't even remember this myself. It's been that long, honestly. Um, Klein getting the goal. Tillyman's getting two. That's all I can say, really. I really don't know what's happened, to be honest. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I do remember that we've got Celtic in the uh, Europa League because I remember tweeting uh, keepers telling them because obviously he's a Celtic fan. I am a Liverpool fan. And we're going to go into that match today. I can't even remember who we've got in our team, to be honest. Right, so we've got Icardi, but he's in illegible. I remember that much. Um, we'll switch him out for obviously Sergi Sampa because he's the only player like that makes a you know a suitable. A, I can't even get the word. What's the word? It's a sensible. There we go. A sensible substitution. Anyway, I remember that we played like this when we were going away from home. So I'm gonna do that just again. We're not in the best of forms. We'll go with John Henson as a box. Uh, to box midfielder. I'll put Divock Origi as a complete. Forward, shove him a bit further up the pitch. I'll put him to attack because we do want to get some goals out of Divock. And in terms of Tillemans, I'll play him as an advanced playmaker on support for this match. Adam Lallana is most definitely not a winger. Uh, Coutinho is an inside forward. That's what we're going to go with against uh, Celtic. Let's jump into the match anyway. Hopefully we can... Um, pick up a victory in this first leg. We've got Southampton in the Premier League wedged between these two games, which I will play offline. And um, then we'll obviously come back. There's the Celtic team on screen. Charlie Adam and Leon Osman, interestingly. Uh, Elzar also. Did he used to play for Liverpool? I'm quite sure he did. Let's have a look. Yeah, he did back in 2006 to 2011. Uh, Montero, quite a fast player. So Celtic have got quite a decent team, to be fair. Obviously, ours is significantly better. We should be expecting to uh, get this victory. I'll just say the media have been giving you praise. Go and go and prove a point is basically what I'm trying to tell these guys. And we are set to go. We are underway against Celtic. Hopefully, we can get through. Obviously, we were knocked out in the Champions League group stages, finishing third place. And um, obviously, that means you are put down to the Europa League, which obviously isn't ideal. But we're in this competition and I am in I am in it to win it. Like every competition I'm in, I want to win the Premier League, I want to win this. I don't know what other competitions I'm in, I might not actually be in any. Um, but any competition we are in, I am in to win at this stage of the season. Obviously in February I believe this is, it's around then. And there is going to be a highlight here and this doesn't look good. This looks like it's going Celtic's way. Or is it? Divock Origi, nice bit of work there. Can he get us into a... A goal scoring opportunity. Origi just driving at Celtic's defence. Good tackle there. But we are still in possession. Lalana to Klein. Klein into the box. Klein with the shot. Not too sure that's a key highlight. It's gone down as a clear cut chance actually. So maybe it was better than what we did see. But obviously you look at the match stats. Like this system does play. We are dominating uh, possession. Which is nice to see. I need to make that change. I always forget to put the work the ball into the box. And I always get told about half an hour in that I should be doing that. And what on earth is that? What in God's earth? If they score from this, oh my word. Klein would have been sold. No, he wouldn't really. But the series is no, nearly over anyway. Probably wouldn't have made much difference. But I don't want to concede the goal here. It'd be nice to get an away goal. And uh, go back to Anfield with maybe a one or two goal advantage. That would be pretty... Pretty nice indeed. But we are approaching half time now. And obviously, as you can see... 
Nothing's actually really gone in. Gone in? Gone in? Gone on? Gone in? Same thing. Nothing's gone in the goal. Nothing's gone on in the match. Uh, we want to see a bit better in this half. You're performing well now. Unlucky boys. Blah, blah, blah. What, 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 what would you say, my assistant? You can take this team talk. And if you get it wrong, you got it right. I was going to say, if you get it wrong, you are getting sacked in the morning. But he gets it right. Good lads. Hopefully we can press on now. Obviously, a lot of, as I said, possession dominance. We've made nearly twice the amount of passes as Celtic, even though we are at Celtic Park. And there is an early highlight, which is good to see. Let's just hope it is for us. Divock Origi getting into the box. To big miss, not having a card in. That is a big, big chance. I think it hits the crossbar. At least the keeper does pa parry it over. We do have a corner. Don't think anything is going to come off this. Adam Lallana right the way back to Nathaniel Klein, who made a superb pass in the first half. Well, I wouldn't really describe it as superb, but we are still looking to dominate this game. I just want us to get a bit of a goal. I don't know how you get a bit of a goal or either want us to get a goal or not, and it looks like we could. I'm just going to encourage them at this stage, Lalana. I can't even remember who our good players are, to be honest. It's literally been that long since I created the video in this series. I've been lacking. I've been slacking and I've been lacking. Uh, in terms of football manager content, but obviously Celtic are moving forward, which is more worrying. I'm not too bothered about my upload schedule when Celtic are in and around our box. Emre Shan does get it away. What's Lalana doing? Is he injured? Why is he just standing there? Lalana, you should be back here. Yeah, he's injured. Fair enough. I just thought he couldn't be arsed. I thought he was just stood there watching. He's actually come back now. So he's told me he's injured, standing over there, just not moving. And now he's come back. That lad's uh, confused me in that situation, but obviously we... Um... Oh, I remember we sold Sadio Mane. That's the first thing I've remembered of this series. We have sold Sadio Mane. I'll take Lallana off. He's absolutely screwed, isn't he? I feel sorry for lad the lad just leaving him out there. Imagine just leaving him out there if he's, like, broke his leg or something. Uh, let's go with Roberto Firmino. I'll just keep him as it is. No need to actually switch too much up right now. We've not really got anything to switch up. A lot of our decent players are injured. Sturridge is injured. Um, Gabriel Barboza, I believe, is injured. Joel Matip's just come back from the African Cup of Nations. And Mario Icardi is ineligible because he is cup-tied. So that is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? If we're going to win this Europa League, we could do with Sturridge and Barboza back. And if we are going to win this Europa League, we could do with not conceding a goal right now. That would be very handy if you just listen to what I say. Don't concede. Yeah, that's perfect. Go and attack. No, that's the wrong way, Coutinho. Go that way. We need to try and get a goal. Come on, Divock Origi. Get past your man, John Henson. Playing well in real life. Roberto Firmino also playing well in real life. Do it for me in the game. Origi. Oh, that's a big chance. Has he hit the woodwork twice this game? Did that hit the post? I think it did. We have been unfortunate, to be fair, not to actually come away with an um, away goal as of yet. That could still happen in this match, which obviously, as I said, was the aim for this match. But we could also concede, which is most definitely not an aim of this match, as Celtic do start to move forward. I'm, you know, more to the point that I don't want to concede because it's just a pain in the arse. So I just don't want to concede either because I can imagine keepers will be in the comments below giving me a bit of stick if I get knocked out to Celtic, especially with this team I have got. Now, we've got 10 minutes to go. I'm just going to push us up ever so slightly, which could have, that could be a bit of a mistake. And I'm just going to tell them to get creative. 10 minutes to go. I really don't think there's too much I can do in terms of switching anything up. Right, five minutes to go. Is there any strikers we can actually bring on? There's literally no strikers I can bring on. What if I put Roberto in there? There's no, even, there's no point in even doing that. I'm just going to drag Tillemans off and I'm going to bring on Marco Grojic and just um, play him as a Roman playmaker. Just let him run around. He, you know, he might be, he might want to run or something. Might need. That's probably Adam Lallana, but we'll bring him on anyway. Five minutes to go. Celtic have barely shot to be honest they've had one shot on target we've had like 13 shots and only three went on targets but we have had two clear cut chances and it is going to end uh, nil nil at Celtic Park I believe the stadium is called correct me if I'm wrong I hope it is but there yeah it's Celtic Park and it does end nil nil I'm not going to complain to be honest I would have liked a goal the manager's saying have a go at them but at this moment in time we're not you know we're, we're a bit downbeat after getting be 4 nil to Tottenham so it could have been that I'm just going to say unlucky Maybe it wasn't the best idea, but I certainly think we can take them into Anfield and get the job done there. So we'll jump ahead to the match at Anfield. Okay, so we are back for the second leg. And if we just go to schedule, as you can see, we got the 2-1 victory over um, Southampton. It was a heavily rotated team and I just gave everyone that played 90 minutes because not many of these players will be featuring 
today. Unfortunately, Roberto Firmino did pick up an injury. Mauro Icardi, though, bagging another two goals for us, which is obviously uh, great. I don't know if this water bottle was in shot then. If it was, I do apologise. I have now moved it. Uh, but anyway, in terms of Premier League, uh, what does that do for the standing? So we are four points behind second place Arsenal. And we are uh, six points behind pace setters Manchester City. Six points with 12 games to go. Is it doable? Um, we've played them twice, so that, that hinders our chances. What about Arsenal? We still have Arsenal to play, but I think we've got to go the Emirates. Am I right in saying yes? We've got to go to the Emirates, so that's obviously going to be a difficult game. Uh, but we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on today's match, and that's the team we're going to go with at home. Obviously, it's exactly the same team as what we went with away, so I don't really know if that's too important, but of course it's important to the team we're playing in this match, and that's what you're watching. So, obviously, it's the round of, like, 500 or whatever it is in the Europa League. Um, I don't know how many people are in this round. I think it's 32, maybe. Not sure. Um, but we, we, we want to get through it. doesn't matter what round it is. It doesn't matter if it's the round of 6 million or 1 or 2. You don't have a round of 1. You have a round of 2, which is called the final. Um, but we are underway today in this match. And we, we whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got a bit of lag. What's going on here? That should have solved the lag issues, I hope, anyway. Um, not much going on again. We're just going to dominate possession. You're going to have to get used to that. We just dominate possession. I don't really think it matters who we're up against us maybe should have played Henderson uh, Tillemans a bit further up but maybe it will help us out we've had 75% possession 20 minutes into this match if Celtic get through I'll be pretty pretty annoyed but Coutinho is in their box here's Divock Origi in space oh my god how many chances has Divock Origi had over these two legs I think it's three he's hit the post and bar and then he's just missed that so that's three straight away he may have had more to be honest that I just can't remember and um, what's this we're winning headers no thanks I don't want to you know pump the ball into the box but I will work it into the box that's a very good idea from myself we've had 78 percent possession and we've not scored it's a bit frustrating but um you know there is going to be a highlight now 10 minutes before half time Ball does go long. He seems to win every header, whoever that is for them. Here's Adam Lallana. Can we uh, get our first goal in this tie? Would have liked to have been a goal or two up already by now, to be honest. But Divock Origi, Lallana, nice play between the two. And Origi, has he just hit the post again or has the keeper saved that? If he's hit the post again, I am just going to fume. Maybe I need to tell him that he's got to hit it between the posts and the bar. Not like hit the post and the bar. Maybe he's thinking he's playing the crossbar challenge, but there we go. He has scored. We do take the lead, and it's only his fifth goal of the season. It's not too bad, considering I don't really play him, but, you know, Divock Origi gives us the lead against Celtic. We've had 77% possession. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. And as I say, that it goes down to 76, obviously, but it is half-time. I'm just going to say they're, they're doing all right, aren't they? So, well done. I'm pleased. Just keep going. Get another goal. Be nice, wouldn't it? Get two. Be even better. Maybe a Divock Origi hat-trick would uh, make me a bit more confident about our chances in the Europa League. Because this is the thing. In the Premier League, we're six points behind City and we don't play them now between you know now and the end of the season, which makes it a bit more difficult for us to make the points back up. I still think it's possible, but City obviously have to slip up against other teams. It's kind of out of our own hands. Whereas in the Europa League, it's obviously in our own hands. But then we've not got Sturridge. We've not got Barboza. You know, we, we can't play Akazi. So we are stuck with Divock Origi. I say that like such a bad thing. Like Divock Origi, shit. He's not. He's a decent player. I'd just like a few more options. I'd like Icardi to uh, obviously not be uh, cup-tied or whatever it's called. Because that, that, that would really boost our chances. Especially the goal-scoring form he is in. And uh, obviously, we're not looking completely uh, threatening, to be honest, which is obviously a bit disappointing. As you can see, you know, Celtic are kind of comfortable in the match, despite the amount of possession we do have. They've not obviously got forwards, but I mean, we've not really threatened them in terms of, you know, highlights and so on, which is it's a bit concerning, but hopefully we can get one here. As Klein's in the box, it's a good save by Gordon. Again, I don't really see how that's a key highlight. Yeah, we had a shot, but how's that key? You could shoot from your own half, couldn't you? Is that going to be a key highlight? don't think so, to be honest. Um, let's see, what, what can we do? 
Everyone's playing pretty well except Coutinho, and to be honest, I've not actually noticed Coutinho at all, and I don't know where FM's gone there. We are back. I don't I don't know what happened there. Um, but Coutinho, as I said, he, I've not really noticed him once, which is a bit concerning. Um, but then again, can I actually do anything? What if we put him out there? We've literally got no attacking options apart from James Milner, which kind of concerns me. Um, I'll bring James Milner on. No, I won't, because no, we've literally, I'm just going to have to leave Coutinho. Literally, we've got no attacking options. That's, that's horrendous. I may actually have to go this whole match without making a change. Which won't be ideal if Celtic get a goal back, because then we're in some real shit. Because obviously, if Celtic get a goal, it's an away goal. And they're going through, and keepers will just roast me, and I'll probably have to retire from YouTube. Um, but I think we should see it out. We've had 20 shots, 10 on target, 73% possession. Celtic have had two shots in the whole match. And neither of them have been on target. So if they do score, with the, they'll be incredibly lucky to uh, to do so. But here is Elzar. It'd be just kind of typical, wouldn't it, to Elzar or Charlie Adam to get a goal against us. Obviously, previous players. Here is Elzar. Don't even think about it. Just don't, please. I want to win this competition. I actually want to win this competition. I just, you know, take the piss out the Capital One Cup and the FA Cup, but I actually want to win this. So, you know, get a goal now. Oh, my God. How are we not putting these chances? Away? And again, oh, my God. Maybe I just need to, like, hire Luis Suarez or something and just say, teach them how to score because I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't get my words out, but I can't remember what we were like in the last episode. As I said, it's been that long. But I don't think we were this bad at scoring goals. And Divock Origi's injured. Divock Origi is injured. He is our only striker available to play in this competition. Like, look, I can't... None of these players will play up front. Rarely Coutinho can. I'm going to have to play with no striker. How, like... How has it come to this? How have we got no strikers on the pitch? Um... Gonna have to go like that, aren't I? That looks a very, very good formation, doesn't it? So we're playing a 2-3-2-3. I don't know how it's come to this, but it, it has. So if we can just see this game out, that'll be ideal. I hope Origi isn't out for too long because we are literally down to Icardi now. And he can't even play in the Europa League. Now, this obviously hasn't been the most interesting of uh, Europa League ties. One goal between Liverpool and Celtic, you would have expected more. Probably the You'll Never Walk Alone's pre-match were probably more entertaining than the match itself. But I do think we are going to win. There's like, what, 20 seconds left on the clock. And as far as I'm concerned, there's probably not enough time for Celtic to uh, score, which, you know, as I said, will make me very happy. And we are going to go through. It wasn't convincing, but we got the job done. It's what you want to do at this stage. I remember last season, I don't really want to talk about it too much because we did actually lose in the final. But our road to the Europa League final, we weren't really convincing against Augsburg, like, you know, away from home and so on. There was times where we didn't look like maybe we wouldn't actually get there. Villarreal away from home when we lost 1-0. But, you know, you never know. Let's just go a good win, boys. Well done. It wasn't a good win, to be honest. But people lie, don't they? I've just lied to them. 72% possession. And um, we're through. Shall we have a party or shall we just not? We've got Wolfsburg in the next round, so um, harder. Uh, no disrespect to Celtic, but that is harder. And we're at Anfield first, so we need to score at least two in the first leg and not concede, if I'm being honest. Let's see the other um, ties. So Arsenal are in this, but they also have a strong team in um, Schalke. AC Milan, probably another team I should fear. Anyone else? No, I don't think so. Southampton, I don't really fear them, to be honest. We've just beat them. Um, yeah, probably AC Milan and Arsenal, probably the only two teams I actually fear left in this competition. But anyone can beat anyone, to be fair. But anyway, that is all for this episode, you know, like at least for gameplay. I'm just going to talk about the future of this series. So I'm going to play out the rest of this season. And that's it, because I I want to don't want too much Liverpool content on my channel. Obviously, I'm doing a Hertha Berlin save for Football Manager 2017. I don't know what I've just hit there. Um, we're doing a... Um, what, what are we doing? We're doing a beta save with God knows... Give me a suggestion who in the comments below. It'll be a Premier League team. Um, that will be on the beta. And then, obviously, when the main game comes out, we will be going with Hertha Berlin. But as I said, I want to wrap up this series... 
as soon as possible, really, because I just don't want, like, too much overlap in Liverpool content. People will just think I'm a Liverpool fan channel, but I'm not. Okay, so we could still have 17 potential games if we get to the Europa League final. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play... Why am I, like, I nearly swallowed my own finger then? If I'm just going to play the games and then do live commentaries for the interesting ones... Um, that's kind of how it's going to go, or I may just play and do, like, monthly summaries. You'll know in the next video because I'll introduce it, but that is all for this one. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed, comment down below, and, uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are looking forward to Football Manager 2017 and can't wait to see some content here on this channel. But as I said, thank you all for watching. Until next time, goodbye.